Feminism and the Black Panther. I have seen both uh, Black Panther movies, the first and the second. And what's so interesting, the first thing I noticed about both movies, movies the first thing that caught my attention were the female warriors. Serious people. That's the first thing that caught my attention. Those female warriors. And as I was watching it, I'm thinking, well, it's fantasy anyway. We know it's fantasy. I mean, that's Without going into it, it's, it's complete fantasy. But what's so interesting is that why in the world would this guy who created the movie about some mythical king over some mythical African kingdom. He is the most uh, powerful king in Wakanda. But yet his warriors, his soldiers, are females with spears. Now I know <laughs> I mean, in reality, now let, let's just use our brains just a little bit. That is the most stupidest concept on this planet. Just being honest, people, it's not even logical. And the reason I tell you this, I've shared a vision. I mean, I shared a um, video previously called, I think, the Badass Woman. And I hope I went into detail, but it looks like I'm going to have to do it again with the Black Panther. Now, let me break it down. Number one, these females were bald headed. <laughs> bald headed female warriors with spears. With spears now. Think about that. How how ignorant that really is. I'm drinking my coffee here. So. Here you got women. I guess they got lipstick and makeup on. That's what my wife said. Oh, they, they just. Oh, look at all those awesome, powerful women. They got, <laughs> they, they strong and they got, and they powerful and they feminine, bald headed with their lipstick on. No, uh uh. Number one, they're not powerful. You know why? They're females. They're not strong. You know why? They're females. Now the Bible, this book right here, right here, see right here, this book right there. God did not make females, he did not create females to fight. He did not create females to be strong. That's Satan's strategy. That's Satan's idea. That's a lie from the pit of hell. God did not create a female, a.k.a. woman, to fight. But you see it all the time. In movies, TV, you name it. YouTube, Twitter, I don't know. I, I just, I basically just, I'm a YouTube uh, 
Facebook person, and that's it. I got Twitter. I don't even use it. I don't have the app. I just go through a browser. Hardly ever say anything. Instagram and whatever else. I don't know. Women fight like crazy. But anyway, I'll talk about that some more. But I got to go back to the bald-headed warriors. All of them bald-headed. I'm, I'm going to read some scriptures here. First Corinthians 11, chapter verses uh, 5. We'll start at verse 4. Every man in prayer or prophesy and have his head covered, dishonest his head. But every woman that prayed or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonored her head. For that is even all one if, if she were shaven. Now that word shaven means bald headed. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn, which means shaven. But if it is a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, in other words, if it is a shame for a woman to be bald headed, let her be covered. Now that's another subject. I'll talk about that briefly. The truth is say it is a shame for a woman to be bald headed. Now Brother Glover is bald headed. You know why? I'm a man. Now, there are some women who lose their hair for some reasons or whatever, but but if a woman wittingly shaves her head, the Bible says that is a shame. Because the scripture goes on down and says that a woman's hair is her covering. It's her covering. So, here you got a powerful king of an African, mythical African kingdom. His soldiers are bald-headed black women with spears. That, that is just complete. Your brain has to be shut down to accept that. Because, see, they're showing you or pushing into your brain feminine, strong, powerful, bald-headed black women who are powerful soldiers. Bull crap. I'm sorry. I'm raising my voice and I shouldn't do that. That is complete nonsense. It is. People, it's complete nonsense. Totally contrary to scriptures and personality not only that, I haven't even talked about the witchcraft and the occult practices that are in the movie. But feminism has destroyed so many females. It has. It has. It has destroyed numerous females. Non-Christian and Christian. Now, part two is even worse than part one. <laughs> part two it was mostly women ruling or whatever I don't know I, <laughs> oh God help us help me to make it through this there's another scripture that I need to read it's in First Peter it's in First Peter, First Peter three. And it's verse seven. And this is what it says. 
Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. Dwell with who? Dwell with the women. Because in verse 3, well, chapter 3, verse 1 through 6, he's talking about the women. But in verse 7, it says, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them, dwell with the wife, dwell with the woman, according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. Notice now, that's in the Bible. See, we have this book, the Bible, the Bible, it says, giving honor unto the wife as the weaker vessel. And as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Notice now, giving honor unto the wife as the weaker, weaker vessel. Oh, shoot. That, feminists don't believe in that. Feminists has taught men and women the feminist movement now, that they are strong. They are powerful. They are omnipotent. They are woman. That's back in the 70s, whatever. 71. And from 70s, 80s, 90, 2010, 20, whatever. Women have been taught that they are strong. They are not weak. They are strong, just like men. Bull crap. The Bible says, give honor to the wife as the weaker vessel. Now, why did it say weaker vessel? Because a woman is soft, gentle, caring, loving, supportive, meek, kind. See, that's a woman. Soft, not hard. And I can go into so much detail until it's ridiculous, but it's, the more I go into it, the better some people are going to get. But that's a woman. Now, a man is strong. A man is aggressive. Men fight. In the Bible, women didn't fight no wars. There were no women soldiers in the Bible. There were no women guards in the Bible. Definitely was no women police. Because that's what the, the um, soldiers were. The soldiers did it all. The men did it all. They were the soldiers, the protectors, the security guard, the police, everything. There was, there is nothing in the Bible about a woman police, a woman's guard, a woman soldier, a woman whatever. Females did not fight. God did not create to the woman to be a fighter. That is contrary to God's design for her. Satan has made a fool out of many females and they are on their way to hell if they don't repent. Now part two Black Panther. I, I couldn't. I couldn't even get out of whip. The the cut stuff was just really bad too. But the whipping is really, really what <coughs> caught my attention. Here you got the Queen at the United Nations talking to uh, the uh, people about some. Body sent some forces, men, some soldiers against her nation, and they got defeated. By black, bald-headed women with swords. And they had brought these men in. On their knees. And she warned them, don't do that again. We will defend ourselves. Now, yeah, that, that, that's, that's, that's nice, but that's, 
But in reality, see, I was in the military. I was in the Air Force. I was, you know, I spent four years in the military. Now, people, let me be honest with you. That wouldn't have happened in real life. I'm being honest. Hey, you got some highly trained soldiers. Navy SEALs are the Delta Force. Now, I'll be honest. You know about the Navy SEALs, but you don't know about Delta Force. Hardly anything. There are moves about them, but you don't know how they train. These Delta Force, they are trained to kill. And they are very good at what they do. I'm being honest. Send them with some against some women with spears. That woman wouldn't stand a chance of a snowball in hell against them. Even with hey, you got men highly trained, highly skilled, highly trained killers fighting against some women with spears, some bald headed women with spears, and they defeat these men. Bull crap. I'm just, <laughs> but in the movies it look good. Not only that, they end up fighting Neymar. I, now, this guy who lived in the ocean with wings on his ank uh, ankle. Now, most of you don't know who Neymar is, but Neymar is a recreation of the submariner. Now, some of you men that back live back in the 60s and 70s, those uh, you had the DC comics and the Marvel comics. And they came up with, a, a, I guess, a Marvel character called the submariner. Now, the submariner was the incredible hawk of the ocean. He wasn't built like Hulk, but he was the incredible Hulk of the ocean. Extremely strong. Why? Because he could live in the furthest depths of the ocean as well as on the surface. Not, no human being, this is fantasy now, no human being can survive the depths of the ocean. It will crush him like a, like a grape. So the submariner was extremely strong. Yet, and not only that, the men, his soldiers were men. And not only that, the women could, could, could uh, survive that death. But yet, here you had a battle with the Black Panther who was a woman. She took over her brother's power because her brother had died. And they end up fighting Neymar and the, who is formerly the submariner and was battling against him tit for tat. Complete nonsense. The reason? Because them women would <laughs> But couldn't, couldn't handle the depths of, of the ocean. They were not as physically strong as these men were. These men were 10 times or even 20 times, who knows, more, way more stronger than them female women fighters with swords. Because I'm sitting there watching this thinking, you got to be kidding me. Not only that, if you know the physical anatomy of a male compared to a female, because I got it on my phone right here. I can show it to you, but it, it, go, it might take a little while. The male and female anatomy is so different. The bones are stronger. The, the length of his bones are, 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 are more longer, especially around the legs and the arms. His heart is bigger. He was built to handle force. 
to handle battle, not a female. Yet these females were going tit to tat with, with, with these men. No, uh-uh. That's a lie. That is a L-I-E lie. First Peter, giving honor to the wife as the weaker, weaker vessel. Today we got women that think they can, they can beat a man. Lord, forgive us. Forgive them. Forgive us. Forgive your church. Because your church is accepting this nonsense. And preachers are scared to tell people the truth because most of his members are women. There's a lot of other things I can say about it, but that's it. That's it. I'm through. I can I can talk about this for a very long time, but I'm not. I, I can't. I'm being honest. It that both of those movies were completely ridiculous. They were. And let me just share this. The reason I haven't done any videos is because my wife retired last year. So that's why. I had to change everything. <laughs> I'm retired. I've been retired for quite a long time. But my wife retired last year, so I had to make some adjustments. But anyway, women, there's not one scripture in the Bible where It talks about women warriors. Oh, I forgot. I might forget to share something. Wonder Woman. For those who watched the movie Wonder Woman, when they those soldiers came on the beach to, uh, and those women came against them with bows and arrows, that made more sense than the women with spears. I'm serious because you, I've shot bow and arrows. Bow and arrows are way more dangerous than a spear. A bow and arrow is way more dangerous than a spear. Because who was it? Some Indian chief defeated. Was it Custer? They might have had guns, but they just basically had bow and arrows. And they whipped that army. Why? Strategy. But you got somebody with a spear going to defeat somebody with a gun. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, well, but anyway, God bless. Until next time.